be a good idea to show you the menu structure of the Connect XW MDBT6150. In this particular case, we don't have any PV coming in, so at night time you would normally see low light. Okay, so the charge controller is not outputting any power whatsoever at this point. If we hit enter, we start with the history menu, we have a battery menu, we have an input menu, auxiliary menu, display menu, device menu, reset menu, and then it wraps around back to the history menu. So history menu gives you daily, monthly logs, gives you your totals for a lifetime. If we go into the battery menu, we can activate equalization when appropriate. We can set for uh, our battery bank if we have more than one bank, or if we want to name it bank one or bank two, that's uh, an option as well. We can go into set our battery voltage. This particular model can be set for 12, 24, 36, and 48 volt battery banks. Here we've got battery type, so you can uh, hit the enter button and you'll see the blinking cursor, and that allows you to use the arrow down or the arrow up button to select whatever battery type is appropriate for your system. The arrow down again, we've got battery capacity and uh, 60 amp is the limit for this particular controller. Recharge volts, at what point does the battery voltage need to drop before it resumes a fresh bulk charge? Absorption time, that's kind of a backstop to the 2% of declared battery capacity that is the default setting. Force charge, if we wanted to force it into bulk or float. In this particular case, we've got it set for three stage. So, um, default battery temp, hot, warm, cold. That would be used in cases where you do not have a battery temperature sensor. Charge cycle, typically always three stage for the charge controller. And then back to equalization. Input menu, that is for your uh, MPPT auto tracking. Typically you would always have that set for auto, although you could set a reference voltage if you wanted to. So if I just change that to manual, then I would go by the reference voltage. Maximum array voltage, that's also a settable parameter. Typically this unit will accommodate no more than 150 volts DC. However, when you're sizing your string, you want to make sure that in the coldest temperatures, you use the temperature coefficient so you never get above that maximum of uh, 150. So we have a PV input, that's the name of the input solar array, solar array one, um, and then back to your auto tracking feature. Auxiliary menu. Auxiliary um, is for controlling the auxiliary port which can be set from 0 to 12 volts DC and provide up to 200 milliamps to drive an external relay or uh, even start a generator in some cases. Uh, that would be a simple two wire configuration. You wouldn't have the you know, cool down and crank time and all the uh, specific uh, generator related functions that are available through the AGS, so, so be careful there. And that's an overview of the menu structure for the Connext MPPT 6150.